Here in Kansas City with Mike Rutzi, Rob Longley for Post Media. Game one of the ALCS. Flat start for the Blue Jays, not a run scored. 5 nothing decision for the Royals. Rutz, was it flat? What was with those bats? Where were they? Uh, the bats were nowhere to be found tonight. King Clancy, uh, I love the guy, in his heyday used to say, we played last night as flat as piss on a plate. And that's basically how the Jays looked in this game tonight. I think uh, emotionally they could have been drained from that crazy, crazy game on Wednesday when they stormed back in that uh, emotionally draining seventh inning. And I think they, uh, they really didn't have anything in the tank for this game. When you don't hit, you don't look good. The Jays didn't hit tonight, period. Well, my question would be then, how do they turn it around quickly? I mean, they have to play again tomorrow afternoon, Saturday afternoon. Can they suddenly wake up and snap out of this? Are they that good? Or is it, is it, can you just turn a switch and do that with this team? Uh, I think the loss is going to be like a slap in the face of them. Uh, they've got David Price on the mound, which is good. And, uh, yeah, they can turn it around. The problem for the Jays is how good or how effective is Edwin Encarnacion going to be? Will he even be in the lineup? Um, after the game manager John Gibbons said his finger was swollen more than it has been in the past, when it has bothered him, Eddie's usually required a, a day or two. If they don't have a day or two. They don't even have 24 hours. So I wouldn't be a bit surprised if tomorrow the Jays show up and Encarnacion is not in the lineup, and that just makes it a hell of a lot tougher. Yeah, that'll be a big story for sure when we show up at the ballpark tomorrow. Uh, Gibbons did say that he's hopeful that he's going to be in the lineup, but what else is he going to say? Uh, for Mike Rutzi, I'm Rob Longley for Post Media here in Kansas City.